and I could see the bridge actually cutting in half. Oh my God, I says the bridge is on its way down. Two years into construction, in Australia's worst ever industrial accident. All you could hear was screams. We just had to turn around and look for our life. Melbourne's Westgate Bridge collapsed into the Yarra River. There was virtually no warning for the men working inside. My father was on the top of the bridge when it collapsed. He was killed in midair. On that spring day, 35 workers were killed. My dad was a hard man, a hard as nails man. He cried like a baby. He said, I've just lost all my mates. In just a few seconds, 28 women became widows and 88 children lost their fathers. Have you seen Johnny, she says? Well, I've seen a body on the grass and he's got black socks on. And Johnny had black socks on this morning. The cruelty of the tragedy was magnified by the knowledge that this was an avoidable disaster. I was just a normal 23-year-old. I'm seeing bodies of my friends and my mates. We should never have seen that. We should never have done that. I went to seven funerals in one day. But what happened next out of the further dark chapter to Australia's history books? The only counselling you got was talking to your mates in the pub. They said, you take what we offer or you'll get nothing. The bridge collapsed on the Thursday. We worked most of the weekend. And on, on Tuesday, we all got sacked.